if you use uh, one of these cleanup scripts before in place uh, upgrade, like cleanup before Windows 11 upgrade.ps1, what about executing a cleanup script after the process? Well, I, I can see the point of using part of it after an upgrade, but in general, when you have run an in-place upgrade of Windows 11, even though it's it's driven by Intune or by Config Manager, there is rarely a need to much of a cleanup after if you already did it beforehand. But for example, if you're using a Config Manager sequence to drive the upgrade, I, I can see that, all right, maybe you want to clear out the Config Manager cache with the content you have been using because it, it can be quite large image and, and driver packages can be four, five, six gigs uh, in size total. And to reclaim that disk space, you can clear it out. I uh, see that. Um, I can show the script that he is referring to. Let's see if I put my here. So if I head over to GitHub deployment research, files and I posted it in the config manager folder uh, a while back but of course it can be used outside of config manager also but it was this one here so this script simply has in the beginning of it it has a section on which component you would like to clean up and if you don't like to clean up the branch cache cache because maybe you don't have one Simply flip that one to a false, and that will do it. But then each of these sections, for example, if I head down to the native uh, disk cleanup, should be further down here, you can see that it's just a if, meaning if it's true, then it starts to delete what we consider are safe things to delete uh, out of Windows. So this is just a list of actions that the native disk cleanup can configure. And then we loop through them and delete them. And finally, in the end, we make sure to uh, uh, stop any cleanup manager instances before we allow it to, to continue. So we have a timeout there that it will wait up to uh, 15 minutes for it to finish the work. So, but yeah, I, I can see the point of doing some of this after the fact, but in general, I did not have, haven't had the need to do so. Uh, there's a follow-up question here. What about the windows.old folder? Well, that one will be deleted anyway when the timer kicks off or, or whatever time you have configured. Uh, it used to be 30 days in the early days of Windows 10, but back in whenever it was 1903, something that time frame, they changed it to 10 days by default. But you guys can you can change that uh, if you don't like the default timer, um, you can configure it to something else. That's available as an Intune policy. You can set that in Config Manager. Um, uh, when, when you do the sequence, it just did some command to, to set it. Um, I believe I had a post on that back in the days also. Let's see, certain windows are old here. Yeah, change the 10 day, 10 day limit. Um, just run this It's part of your sequence. Some point in the Windows phase, obviously. Uh, but that, that will make sure you um, have it either deleted later or sooner. It makes sense to keep it around for a little while because this is what allows you to roll back if something is not functioning correctly. So deleting on day one might be a little bit harsh or brutal. I, I wonder if, um, you know, in Windows Update for Business Policies, this is a little, a little off topic, but in Windows Update for Business Policies, you can actually set, set the maximum uh, rollback time I wonder if that actually sets this on the client. Hmm. Well, uh, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, the, the effect will stay the same. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming you're referring to this one here. Let's 
So if I head over to um, I just like click Windows first to get to this list or make it shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me take a look on some of these. I think it will and actually that be one, in... uh, so that's in the regular update ring, is it not? I believe so, yep. Yeah. Yeah, uninstall period. I'm yeah, this getting, one here. Putting myself on the hook for some research, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would assume it, it will configure the same things because that's basically what it does. Yeah. But I don't think it runs this in the background. It's, it's policy somewhere that kicks in. Yep. So. Oh, all right. Good comment. 